Welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. You might have noticed it, but F122 is not real life, and therefore things can work a little bit differently in the game. Today we're going to be looking at some of the less obvious differences between F122 and real life. And consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any future uploads. Let's start out with curves. These red and white beauties are there to mark the edges of the racetrack. In real life they bring some disadvantages with them to discourage the drivers from using them too much. In F122 it's a whole different story. When we take a look at the curbs in the braking zones, we see that the real drivers don't really brake on them, as these curbs will lengthen their braking zones quite significantly. But in the game, it almost has no effect on your braking distance and they even give you the advantage of having more track space when you use them correctly. Turn 3 on the Red Bull Ring is a great example. In real life, we see Verstappen doesn't even touch this curb, while in game we can drive on it like it's just a bit of normal road. And in this track titan analysis we can see that the blue driver is using all the curb in the braking zone while the orange driver is following Verstappen's real life racing line. We can see that the orange driver hasn't got as much track space and therefore losing them almost 3 tenths in this corner alone. When we're slowing down in F122 we can downshift like a madman and the game will just allow it. Engine braking helps to slow down the car and the gearbox happily doesn't explode. In real life this works a little bit differently. Downshifting in this aggressive manner would almost certainly break the engine or the gearbox. As you'd continuously force the engine to deal with a ton of revs without giving it time to catch up. But in F122 you don't have to worry about this at all and you can just downshift to your heart's content. Turn in oversteer. It's something F122 doesn't really simulate either. In real life or in other sims that simulate it better like Assetto Corsa, staying on the brakes too heavily, too deep into the corner, causes you to combine the cornering and braking forces. This way you're using too much of the grip of the unloaded rear tires. The weight of the car starts to pivot around the front tires which causes you to go into a spin. Now normally this problem can be solved by learning how to trail brake properly because trail braking gradually rebalances the car after turning in. You're less likely to spin because of a loose rear end. In real life and in other sims, you have to be really careful braking into corners. But in F122, you can do it quite aggressively. And this also means that the standard setups are almost always too understeery, making them safe, but also not that quick. Now let's conclude the video by going over the key points once again. As opposed to real life you can actually use a ton of braking zone curbing allowing you to use more track space which subsequently allows you to get faster lap times. Don't worry about downshifting too fast in game as you're not gonna break the engine or the gearbox. And you also don't have to worry about turning oversteer as you would in other sims because F122 doesn't really bother with it. When you're looking to improve in the F1 games, don't copy the real life F1 drivers because they're not in the simulation. If you want to be sure of what to do in the sim, Track Titan can show you exactly what the fastest sim racers out there are doing differently. We hope you've enjoyed today's video, check out tracktitan.io in the description down below and we hope to see you in the next one.